Hello Supers, so today we're going to learn how to make heart pedal grams or heart pedal diagrams in Finale. Uh, but first, I just want to do a quick announcement because on Wednesday, we're finally starting off the uh, How to Code in JW Lua in Finale. Uh, that way you can do a lot of really cool things really easily in Finale. And it'll be out, uh, the first one will be out on Wednesday at 8 a.m. Pacific time. So if you don't want to miss out on this series, make sure to hit the subscribe and ring the bell, that way you get notified as soon as every single new video comes out, and this is going to be a really in-depth series, and do check it out, it'll really help speed up your workflow. So let's dive in and actually create the heart pedal gram. So what we're first going to do is we're actually going to create an expression category for these uh, diagrams, that way we can set the music font and globally, and we can also set the position globally. Let's go to our expression tool, uh, and then double click, that way you can edit categories. I like to duplicate the expressive text category because expressive text is already below the staff. And then we're going to name this harp, hit OK. Uh, text font, we don't really care about. Music font, instead of Maestro, we're going to do Engraver Text T. There we go. Uh, font size, we're going to do 12 points. And in, over here where it says Below Staff or Baseline or Entry, we're going to select that option. And we're going to do 0, and then we're going to do negative 3 spaces. Uh, basically what this does is it sets it right on the staff baseline. Uh, and for negative 3 spaces, that just means there's like a note on our expression that's really low on the staff, it'll automatically move the heart pedal diagram lower. Uh, justification left, left of all note heads, additional line to offset zero, that is perfect. Hit OK, and then we're going to create a new harp pedal diagram. And for those of you who don't know, the harp pedal gram basically tells the harp player uh, where to put their pedals, because in a harp they have seven different pedals, one for each diatonic note, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and uh, each pedal controls the accidental for a given note in every single octave. For instance, the C pedal controls the accidental for all the Cs. So if the C pedal is in the natural position, every single C they play will be natural. If it's in the sharp position, every C will be a C sharp. If it's in the flat position, every C will be a C flat. But there is a specific order that we have to input them in. D, C, B, and then in the middle we have the harp, E, F, G, and then A. And then the harp pedal diagram itself uh, will actually tell us what, what um, accidental we're doing for each of these. So in music font, well, the way it's going to look at the end result is we're going to have something like that, right? Which basically tells us we're going to have a D flat, C natural, B sharps, E flat, F natural, a G flat, A natural. But how am I actually typing this in? So let's look uh, to the text font, and we can see these are just a bunch of O's and P's. O is always going to be flat, uh, capital O is going to always be natural, lowercase p is always going to be sharp, and the uppercase p, all that is is the divider in the center. So if we change the font back, we have it back like this. And if we were to hit OK and OK, we can see the heart pedal diagram is like how it should be. And if we enter notes that go below the staff, it automatically adjusts the heart pedal gram, that way there's no collisions. Uh, in case heart pedal diagrams aren't new to you, let's go over a couple practice and common examples. I always like to duplicate it and then hit edit and then up here I will just to remind myself because I don't read heart pedal diagrams fluently I'll just add in what the ex exact accidentals are that I'm looking for. So let's do like the key of D flat major right so I want to have a D flat, C natural, uh, B flat, E flat, uh, F natural, G flat, A flat. So I'll put this in the description that way I could just look through uh, the description and find out which pedal diagram I want, and so then we go through the diagram. So flat is always up, so we want D flat, C natural, B flat. Remember, a flat is just the lowercase o, that makes us go up. E flat, that's the lowercase o already, natural, um, we already have a G flat, and then it's already A natural, but we want an A flat, so we're going to press the lowercase o over there to make it an A flat, and if we enter it in, now we have the key of D flat major for our pedal diagram. Or let's say we wanted uh, like a pentatonic scale, so like C pentatonic, uh, which will require some enharmonic spellings like F flat. Again, I always like to duplicate this, hit edit. For C pentatonic, we want a D natural, uh, C natural, B sharp, so I'm going to put a B sharp there, E natural, F flat, G natural, A natural. And so to type that in, we are going to do a D natural, so natural is uppercase O, C natural, which is uppercase O, B sharp, Remember, sharp is lowercase p, and then we have E natural, which is uppercase O, uh, F flat, flat is always going to be lowercase o, and then G natural, G natural is lowercase o, and A natural is lowercase o, and then we have 
a nice C pentatonic scale for the harp pedal diagram. We can enter it in, it, in like that. And if you know you use harp pedal diagrams a lot, uh, you can even just put them in your document styles and have them there for whenever you want to go to the harp category, find the one you want, and insert it right away. So that is an introduction to using harp pedal diagrams in Finale. If you found this video at all useful, uh, make sure to hit the like button. That way I know you want more content like this. And don't forget the JW Lua um, series is starting on Wednesday. So don't forget to miss out on that. And if you don't want to miss out on any of the other content either, make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell. That way you get notified as soon as a new video comes out.